Hello and welcome. Today is uh, Sunday, 20th of October 2019. My name is Derek Albets Trades and of the like within each's own risk and their own reward. Last night I did a pop uh, math uh, statistics question. Uh, no answers as of yet, but if uh, anyone is able to give me the correct answers to both of the question questions of the exact return on investment for playing this lottery, as well as with the chances after 100 consecutive equal bets that you would be ahead of the game. I find stuff like statistics and mathematics fun. Well, maybe I'm a little bit weird. I don't know. Bitcoin against the dollar. And we are seeing a move that started at 10 o'clock this morning, leaving the 18 average of highs. Racing past the range of resistance between 8,100 and 8,100, or 8,095 and 8,123. It's just so tight that uh, the range of volatility. It has, it being the price, uh, has exceeded the uh, previous level of support and has gotten into this uh, previous uh, le major level of support that occurred from October the 11th through that of October the 15th. Well, we got a long ways to go. I mean, this still hasn't left correctionary phase. The attempt to leave the 18 lows occurred over the last previous three or so days, but that's just the attempt. Still within the sideways consolidation. And now it's like, okay, now it's got a decent move to break it. As resistance is up towards like 87 and three quarters. Uh, support is down towards 77 and a half. And it's pretty much in the middle of it. In the 18 average, it's a major sideways situation. And uh, it's, it's all the same. I've said it for the entire month. Got to break this resistance or support one way or another. The expected target to the upside for the next level is, well, 10,000 and change. And going down below that, uh, a little 6,000. And either way, I would expect that. Well, I know it's high volatility. We're talking about 25% uh, down if it goes down. And uh, pretty much around the same sort of volatility of the upside. But until it does, it does. it's not, or it's doesn't I don't know it's, until it does it's not and it's just gonna be, and it has been staying within this uh, sideways consolidation period on the monthly chart it's been just a lot of the slow volatile come making its move within it as price action from these three candles really hasn't went much at all below the high at least not as of now from this move so it hasn't went down with any decent red size candle moves. And uh, still mainly doing the same sort of correctionary phase. Because on the long term, I can say the same sort of deal here. That yeah, until the price action can break down below 3000 clearly. Or clearly get above 20000 It's in a long term sideways range. Which... You could have been saying in here back in August of uh, tw or right in here. Okay, 414. Yeah, until Bitcoin breaks clearly below 150 or above about 1200. And well, this is where it clearly broke above 1200. And of course, it did uh, significantly better there after that. So much so that its current support test is uh, almost three times higher than where this level of resistance is coming in at. And just quickly looking at uh, Bitcoin Cash against Bitcoin, and well, we've got this lower end of a uh, higher end. Of course, it's at the lower end of the list, at least against that of Bitcoin. It's up uh, that of 2.3%, but a lot of these coins are actually down today against Bitcoin. And as we can see within the Bitcoin dominance, which is up today, up about 0.55%. Still within the declining 18 average and below this line, but the general overall volatility is extremely low. In fact, I don't know if Binance is getting worried about me or not, but I haven't logged in in over 30 hours. And finally on the GRS, which is just whenever other one, had attempt to break out October 15th. Looks like we're in one of those failed move, fast move situations.
whether we're going to be ready for another big push like we were here and in other previous times before, even before this, because this is just going back to April of 2018. I don't know. Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me if in time that it does, and it's been a decent amount of time since this weak-ass one on July 29th, and weak because it only went from like 23 up to like 38. And I can say only that when that is like 65, 70%, but moves like this is when you go from like 6 up to like 18, a 3x move. Any given time it can happen, and when it happened before, what did the market tell you that, oh, let me just go like this. Well, before this, whether these moves are real, and of course, the stuff like this isn't happening given what well, volatility not in play. I haven't logged on to, I haven't made a trade in like 36 hours of anything. But when you have moves like this, 10,000 down to 6, up to 8, down to 6, only price pays. So if your orders were in and they got filled, they got filled. And if you were there at the time when those prices were available, well, there's only a period of time when that was the case. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.